what up yo, it's your boy, Night2727, playing a little Battlefield 4 on the Xbox One. Yeah, just playing a campaign right now, and I've never really played Battlefield. I think I played a pinch of Battlefield 3 on PS3. I think like PlayStation Plus I had like a quick trial or something for an hour, or so. and I tried that and it was pretty decent, but for next gen wise, I've never touched a, a massive like shooter like this or Call of Duty yet, so this is this is amazing. Like I just love Battlefield, just the story. I'm not a fan of the multiplayer at all, but I more so bought this for the story because I wanted to get into it because I actually played some of the more recent Call of Duty ones and they were pretty awesome. I mean, this is wild. And I was saying in like the, uh, the UFC video that they're more so like putting all the effort into the shooters for next gen and this is a clear example. This, the presentation, like, you know, they got real actors doing voice acting so it's like more authentic. Just the way the characters move, their body language. I mean, this is nice. Very nice, great presentation. You know, I, I can play this all the time. I like to play this in the dark, you know, so you really, your eyes draw to the TV and you get to really appreciate this, the graphics and all that. It's things like this, how it's just not a quick knife and there's a struggle for it. I wanted to show you guys this because this story gets wild. Definitely a fan of Battlefield, uh, at least the story. I paid uh, $10, not $13 for this. One of those major sales on Xbox when I first got my box. It had to be perfect timing. So you get like UFC for ten dollars, this for thirteen dollars, Titanfall ten dollars. You know, it already came with Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, and Unity. I have Black Flag on uh, Wii U, so I probably won't play it over. I played it just to see how it looks. Looks good, holds up well. Uh, Wii U actually holds up very well to that. To blow them up to that and uh. Watchdogs. I'm not sure if this is on um, last gen or not, but it absolutely looks amazing. People are bashing the Xbox One, just like they bashed the Wii U, and I don't see what's wrong with it. All of these videos and stuff that I've been doing recently, I've been doing from the Xbox. I don't even need to put a, pop it into the computer unless I want to do like something in particular. But other than that, they just don't touch the computer. All of this from the Xbox. I haven't had like any major issues with it. I mean, you take a look, like this is nice dramatics, almost like watching a movie. They they give you like cinematics and stuff, and like the graphics look like you know PS3 or 4. It's like cinematics, you know, like looks all better than the gameplay. They show you like these cinematics that look all beautiful, and it's always like the next generation of games look like those cutscenes that you couldn't play. And then like you'd be able to tell you're playing again when well, the graphics kind of decrease a bit. Now it's like, graphics are great. Even the graphics aren't everything. Like, the gameplay is just right along with it. Very smooth. I like how how it is. The guns shoot differently. It's not Call of Duty, so the guns won't be, like, perfectly accurate. And it's not, like, it's not inaccurate to where it's annoying. Of course, so like, based to be realistic. Uh, just, the, just the choice of lightings and stuff. You kind of have to be more tactical, which I like. So it's not, like, unrealistic where you're going to take, like, a bazillion shots will get shot and you will die so you gotta be smart about your movement like the movement animation the way it runs like the way your character moves as he's running or i can like jump into a dive or something which you see like i did earlier trying to get away from the grenade and then like they mix it up so you're getting this you're shooting you're in the sea it's just like a good um good variety of action you know good particle effects like you see explosions right there people are shooting at you from all angles wild battle, you know, and just like the ship was just falling apart, they're panicking, you know, screaming, trying to figure out what to do next, and I was like, this, this is getting too action-packed, I gotta share this with you too. Um, unlock stuff, I, I'll actually probably give this a second playthrough once I finish it, I have no idea how long it is, but it's, it's really that good. So I'll have to pick up a couple of more shooters, since obviously shooters are what next gen's like, well, current gen now is focusing on. WWE and UFC aren't that great. They're okay, but apparently the shooters are getting all of the attention. But this was just some Battlefield 4 gameplay. Once again, I'm into the ITE 2727. Don't forget to subscribe. Hey, 
Thanks for watching.